with your host, Eddie D'Souza, at the Cool Cat Recording Studio. Well, hi, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. How about those fireworks? Pretty good, eh? Anyways, we're, this is a brand new show, um, and I've got Sam Boyd and Dougal Hines in the studio with me today. And I'd just like to welcome them. Thank you. Right on. Thank you very much for being a part of the show. We're, we're thrilled. It's just quite an honor to come here and do this. We're happy about it. I, I'm really happy that like Shaw Cable and Steve Bernard has allowed us to come in and do this kind of stuff. So the first question I'm going to ask you is how long have you been playing guitar? I've been playing guitar for 17 years. Um, basically since I was 12 years old. Um, I haven't really stopped playing. The longest I've Stop playing guitar would be about a month, so it's been 17 years straight. Excellent. It's part of your um, life then. Yeah. yeah. Cool. How about you, Dougal? Well, I, st I started in grade 5, however old you are in grade 5. I imagine you're around 10, 10 11. But, yeah. um, <laughs> I had my first band in grade 7, and I studied at the Ontario Conservatory of Music in Ontario. So I learned notes and stuff like that back in the day. I used to take the Greyhound bus and, on every Saturday. Take my, for my lessons, but that was, and I'm uh, getting up there now. So anyway, it, if I'm, I'm trying to do the math here, I was, I've been playing for about 40, 40 years, 50 years. I, guess. Oh. I don't know. If, yeah, holy moly, long right. time. Yeah. But um, I, but I took a break. Like I didn't do it go as intense as Sam there. I, I kind of started out playing guitar, then I let it go for 30 years. You know, I had, a, I had a life in between there, and then all of a sudden, it's only been the last four, three or four years I started playing again, and. Uh, back at it. Well, it's sounding really good. Thanks. Okay, uh, can you tell me a tiny bit about who influenced you? Sam, you want to go for it? Um, my main influence would be Stevie Ray Vaughan. Um, a lot of his blues, Texas blues shuffle, I really enjoy playing that. Um, the bass player for Stevie Ray Vaughan, he didn't play straight blues chords or runs, he mixed it up as kind of jazzy, and the drummer, there was only a three-piece band, but it was a pretty tight band. I always enjoyed listening to Stevie Ray Vaughan. Okay, right on. And do go for what you saw. Well, I was just going to say, another guy that he liked at the time was Robert Johnson. Okay. Because yeah. that's how him and I got together, because he was playing his slide downtown, and he, he played Robert Johnson for me, and then... And then when we got together and played for the first time, we played uh, Pride and Joy, yep. Stevie Ray, and it was, that was, it's been history ever since we did that. Oh. We just, we bonded there because we both have a full appreciation for Stevie Ray. Stevie Ray, for And I, sure. I recently, like, anyway, I'll, I'll get into that later, but uh, the music that influenced me, I guess, in the, in the time, I started out listening to Jimmy Rogers on the Victor Rolla. That's how old I am. I used oh. to have to crank the old fat records out. Who? We're talking about, yeah, okay, Jimmy Rogers, but out of that came Hank Williams and that along the line, okay. country music. So I grew up, I was exposed to uh, the Don Messer's Jubilee. My father introduced me, my father was a bluegrass, into country music and bluegrass, listening to the Grand Old Opry on Saturday nights on the radio. And, uh, and then from there I kind of went into uh, folk music and, uh, and then I got into... Uh, blues. Like the folk music was mostly Paul Simon, Simon and Garfunkel that was my influence in the day, and Bob Dylan. Because I grew up in that, and Neil Young, Cat Stevens, that generation, I guess early 70s, I was really into that. Mm -hmm. And I never really discovered Stevie Ray until about, God, about 10 years ago. And I thought, I remember in 1980 when I saw the album Stevie Ray Vaughan, I lived in Smithers, and I, I never really clicked. You know, I guess it's been YouTube, it's helped me a lot. <laughs> I've learned a lot about sure, music. Sure, yeah. yeah. Well, you know. that brings us to the next question. What yeah. do you listen to now? What bands are really influencing yeah. you? Yeah. Um, I'm basically mostly going on YouTube and listen to all the songs I used to listen to in high school, like Cranberries, um, Smashing Pumpkins. So I guess I grew up with that. And now that I'm older, I'm sort of going back to that influence. Huh. And Dougal, what do you mean? I could say Simon and Garfunkel, Bob Dylan. Then I, didn't get, then I got into Jimi Hendrix and, oh my, went that whole gauntlet of music. But I, uh, I, I'm, uh, Hank Williams is the one that's come back, to, like I've come back to that. 
Like I went through all, all the stuff that we listened to and this, all of us listened to the music in the 70s. I dropped out of music in the 80s, except for Bruce Springsteen. I still liked him and Tina Turner, because they said, and Brian Adams, they had some good hits. And, uh, and now I'm listening to Brian Adams again. It's weird, he's got it, I just showed Sam tonight. He's got a new video out, the soundtrack to uh, Old Dogs. The movie's a dud, but this, Brian Adams is doing some really cool stuff. Okay, so now where do you want to take your music now? Um, I basically wouldn't mind starting a band, finding a bass player. Hear yeah, that? Any bass players out yeah. there? <laughs> Sam Boyd, here's his phone number. <laughs> <laughs> um, I really like to play funk. Um, I attempt to play jazz. I know blues like front to back. And I do some hard rock, heavy metal. I sort of mix it up, even country, like rockabilly. Yeah. But it would be cool to find a drummer and a bass player, start something. So in the future you'd like to focus yeah. on yeah. having a full band? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah. Play nice, loud rock and roll? Yeah. How about the venues? What kind of places are you looking at playing? Um, probably where around Cornell at first. Um, I know a lot of people around Redstone and Nasco. Um, I'm currently in a band where I'm just playing guitar with a couple guys I know and they play Nehemiah Rodeo, Redstone Rodeo. So I think we're going to be playing at Silvius, So I'd like to thank Sam and Dougal for coming in. This is You're the Star, and we're going to listen to a couple of their videos right now. Heading on down to Troll. Bare bones, down to 
thank you very much for tuning in, and a very special thanks to my guests here, Sam Boyd and Dougal Hines. Thank you very much for coming in. Yeah. Thanks for having us. Yeah. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. Right on. And we'll see you next week. You're the star.